TCS Basis Controls. TCS Basis have been in business for the past 30 years. Today we're going to take a look at their Ubiquity Enterprise Management Energy and Maintenance Cost Reduction Platform. This is a web-based wireless platform that allows you to connect energy consuming equipment to the web so that you can control, monitor, and manage that equipment, lowering energy and maintenance costs. So from any web connected device, an iPhone, iPad, laptop, desktop that has access to the web, you can log into the Ubiquity platform. It's password protected so that anybody in the organization can have access to it, but it's limited to the people that you would like to have viewing that information and controlling those units. And all matrix of permission levels can be set up within that platform. Once you log in, it takes you to the region level screen. So this is a goal level customer that has sites in California, Florida, Illinois, New Jersey, New York. And this screen allows you to take a look and see what's happening at each of those sites. It also, this enterprise summary allows you to do comparisons between utility data, service and performance of the units, comparison on compliance, comparison of energy consumption costs to see exactly what is happening within those buildings and helps you to manage those assets more efficiently. There are two huge benefits to having this visibility. One is the lowering of the energy costs by controlling the equipment, scheduling times, set points, and making sure that they're only running when they're, when they're supposed to, you can lower the energy costs. But that's only half of the value of the system. The maintenance benefits of having visibility into the units, how they're performing, being able to take a look and see alarms that tell you when those systems aren't performing the way they're supposed to, using too much energy, or about to break, gives you the valuable information that you need to make decisions on whether to roll trucks to repair that equipment ahead of time before it breaks, or schedule service calls that aren't emergency calls during your peak times when your store is busy or the restaurant is extremely busy and the AC fails, you can lose business. So being able to have that warning ahead of time and it's one of the big advantages of the system and also allows you to manage those costs most efficiently. So from this overview, we can take a deeper dive into any of the sites. We'll take a look at the Orlando site. It's a uh, pretty warm down in Orlando so we'll still have a requirement for cooling and as you can see here we have six HVAC units connected to the platform and two lighting channels that we're controlling. We also have the ability to add refrigeration monitoring and any energy consuming piece of equipment that can be turned on and off can be connected to the platform. We have a photo here, photos, images of the site where the control panel is, where the uh, thermostats are located so there's two levels of service. We have gold level managed services where we manage the, the site entirely. We optimize all the energy consumption, the settings, and triage any alerts that we get in relation to the equipment, and then decide whether the uh, alarm requires a service call, and then communicate to the customer. We can also, at a silver level, train your staff to manage the site, manage all of the alerts, and to set the optimization settings and make changes when you need to. Vanishing holidays, schedules. So this is the main overview where it just gives you a quick synopsis of how those units are performing. So if I scroll, hover over any of the icons, the uh, individual units, you can see there's six zones, the stock area, dressing area, front of store, women's shoes, men's front, and men's shoes back. The little icon that we can see right here Gives me a quick overview to show me the fan is running, there's no alarms, compressor 1 is running, compressor 2 is not, and that's cooling compressor 1 and 2, and then you've got the flame for heating 1 and 2, and then whether the override has been uh, activated or not, whether the uh, staff on site have made a change, it'll show me here when that uh, override button is uh, has been activated. And if we see that persistently, we can make adjustments to the site, but every, every override or system adjustment by a, a user on site is uh, recorded so that we can uh, show trends and, and uh, how comfortable it is in the space and whether, whether those changes need to be made. So literally by clicking on the icon, it takes you to a, a deeper level of the individual controllers. And I can go to one of those individually and expand it and have a look at the settings, the heating set point, user adjust points uh, to 
um, check on that unit I can have a look at the 24 hour temperature in that zone so you can see here that between 12 p.m. and 12 a.m. it was hovering around 74 in the evening when the unoccupied settings had drifted up to 76 and then back down to our 74 degree set point at uh, 12 p.m. so literally from that screen it shows me the last 24 hours and I can see if there's any problems this is the schedule so you can see we have two schedules here 8 a.m. through 12 p.m. 12 a.m. to 1.30 a.m. so the store stays open for restocking until 1.30 a.m. and then at 1.30 a.m. it goes to unoccupied setting and uh, our second schedule which helps us to generate savings any comments that need to be made two stages of heat two stages of cool change schedule to 8 a.m. to 1.30 a.m. at the customer's request and from here we can also just make adjustments up and down one or two degrees I can also expand all of these so they can do a comparison on all of the zones to see exactly what's happening get a quick overview of all of the different uh, zones I can have a look at the uh, schedule for all of those zones tabs right here I can have a look at all the schedules make sure that they're all set to the right uh, or take a look at the trending temperatures for all of the different uh, zones just to make sure that they're comfortable throughout the last 24 hours so this level of visibility just helps you know to keep uh, the store comfortable but also use the least amount of energy possible in addition from this page right here you can change the programming for any of the individual units you can go in and these are all of the uh, tools that uh, help us to manage the uh, the zone we also have the ability to make global changes global scheduling changes global alarms global programming all from the global admin tab here we have the admin tab which allows you to add users set up the system parameters region setup enterprise admin utility admin so we'll just go back to the site home here for a second look at some of the other tabs we've seen the controllers tab the energy tab allows us to input all of the historical bills and do a comparison on those the performance tab allows us to track the run times total unit runtime hours occupied unit runtime hours unoccupied unit runtime hours and then utility data we'll just go back there we go for the uh, utility data we've got the average usage consumption peak demand what the charge was and the savings generated so you can look we have from July 2009 all the way through October 2012 for this site 25 to 20 20 to 25 percent reduction on the cost of the energy for this site and when you add that to the maintenance and uh, extension of the lifetime of the equipment savings you come up with a pretty significant saving for the company in the reporting page literally when if there's an alert or an alarm we can go in and take a look at a particular zone you have cooling one cooling two cooling set point discharge air temperature what the room temperature is so we'll just look at it for a couple of days for the shoes back zone for two days 48 hours and this helps to triage problems so you can see the blue is the discharge air temperature this unit's working perfectly you got room temperature what the cooling set point is and how closely you kept, you kept it to that so the historical performance of the unit allows you to see when problems start whether there was an issue so you can see this is unoccupied everything is running normally it's off and then during the day you've got cooling stage one and cooling stage two so that's the uh, graphing tool that you can use to have a look and, and diagnose and triage problems and alerts when uh, when there are issues